Hi. Okay. Uh, so I have no slides. So it will be five minutes of uh, demonstration. I hope it will uh, no, not fail. So. Uh, oh shit. Hello. Yeah. Uh, I will speak about uh, a problem I have with IDEA. It's uh, this one. Yeah. When you use here, for example, you have the address, and the address is in decimal. And we here use decimal to read an address. Yeah. We want hexadecimal. So you can tell me, hey, you can use hex. Hex is pretty cool. Yeah, but hex uh, is like a lot of characters to write. And I'm like a very, very lazy guy. So we will try to do something else. So here is Python. Here is C types. C types is pretty cool. It's uh, the interface between Python and C. And there is a lot of stuff like uh, the uint type, type. You can create uh, uint like in C. And uh, one really cool thing in the from address function, it allows you to create a uint from any address in your address space. So for example, I can read the uint as this address. Yeah, no, not this one, this one. Yeah, of course, it fails, it's like false. So we have the ability to read in our address space any address. So c what can we do with that? Uh, we can try to find a good address to read. One of them, for example, will be the address of one of the Python object. But how we do we get the address of one Python object? The documentation tells us, not this, There is the ID built-in. The ID built-in returns the identity of an object. And in C Python, the address of the object is the ID. So for example, we can get the address of two. And with that, we can recuperate, we can get what is at the address of our object. Uh, yeah, whiskey is hard. Yeah. From address ID of two. Yeah, we read this. But what is this? Uh, so if I store this somewhere, x, and I do c equal to x is a less, what? And uh, cc? Yeah. So uh, in fact, uh, here what we have is uh, the um, reference counter of x, of two. And we can read what is after, for example, at plus 0x8, we have what? Not, uh, yeah, no, it not that, uh, here. Hey, here is the value of two. If I do this, we have changed the value of two in Python, which is not normal, but pretty cool. Let, but that's not what I want. What I want is change not, for example, OBI val in this, but I want to change the behavior of the int object. For that, we need to go into the int object plus C and see the int type. The int type is so a type, so we need to go into object to C to see what is a type object in Python. In Python, a type object is an object, and there is a lot and lot and lot of function and function pointers. And one of the interesting things is TP as a number, which is a struct, and the struct, which is uh, whoop, la, here, has another lot of function pointer. And one of them, really interesting, is nbx, which is a function used to print the hexadecimal representation of our int. So what we're going to do is get the value of this and change, for example, the RPR function of our int object by this one. So for that, we need to get the offset of TP as a number and the offset of TP underscore RPR, which is uh, somewhere here. Uh, which is just here. So we need to take those offset and get the address of the type int. So it's very easy, huh? ID of int. And here we go. So what we need to do next is think is good uh, get here the ID of the type we want to modify, do some magic to get as a number. From as a number, you get two eggs. Yeah, I really want to finish. Okay. Good. 
highlight this one. All right, your timing starts now. Perfect. So we have the two x address. We see she's the address of the function that take a int and print the hexadecimal representation. We can get two decimal, which is just the address of str function of the int. And we have uh, just here. And what we do is change S repr and str by the two x function. And to save it, we can do we can put at the address of two x the address of two deck. And it allows us to exchange the decimal and hexadecimal representation of an int. We are in Python 2, so if we have int unlong. So let's gonna try this. Yeah, if I try to print 42, I have this. And if I try to print is my current address, I have my current address in hexadecimal. And I don't have to use the exes anymore. And, uh, I gain uh, five character per line, and I'm happy. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Well, you have four minutes. You have four more minutes. Anybody has questions, or do you want to keep going? Uh, do you know how hard it is to have um, a native execution in Python? It's like the most easy things in the world. You have C types. In C types, you have C func types. Uh, it's not. <laughs> it's it's beginning to be hard. Nope. 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 I will try it. I will get it. <laughs> hey, do you know help? <laughs> help is cool. Yeah. <laughs> help is not always cool. Okay. How much time do I have? Yeah. So uh, getting a. Uh, the um, hey, I know. Win trying to find. Yeah, I know Windows more than uh, C. <laughs> so what you need to give it is, uh, for example, the return value of your function. So uh, for example, a uint. And after, if you need some parameters, it returns you a sec for ah yeah no because uh, you don't want to change uh, two by twelve when you're doing this, of course. It will be too easy. So Python import C types, import C types. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not used to whiskey. Sorry. So after that, we've got a function that returns a say uint, and what we get, we give to it is the address we want to call. For example, this address. It returns us a function that we call this address, and it expects a say uint in return, and we have the execution. You don't see it because Python catch the seg fault and return us an error, but we have execution. And it allows you to execute assembly, which respect, for example, uh, std call or c call, uh, c call um, convention, and execute a really easy some, uh, some native code in Python. Yeah, that's all. Hey, is there a win types equivalent for like Mac or Linux, or do they only have that class for Windows? Uh, they have a function, uh, they have a C func type, the first one I was trying to type, but I don't remember the exact name. But there is something for a CDEC function and also for a STD call function. Okay, thanks.